So welcome back. Hopefully you've followed the previous videos and what we're going to show you now is the continuation of that story. So what we've done is we've actually um, created our, our requirements in Agile Requirement Designer. Now, if you remember before, we're using the thick client. Now I'm going to show you how we can then use the thin client. So this is the thin client here. If I log in as my user here, uh, thin client is a web client. We can log in and I can then look at all the projects and versions that my user is working with. Uh, now we're working on this Medrec project. Let me just drill into this. These are the flows within my project. Now on the right hand side, you'll see things like we have requirements, we have subflows, we have parents, etc. Now those requirements are linkages to our tools like uh, Agile Central and Jira to show where a flow has a relationship to a requirement. And the subflows are when you have a flow, a subflow in the flow. So we can see that this Medrec entrance here actually has three subflows. So if I click on it to view it. Now, like I said, this is the read-only view. This allows you to share these requirements that you've modeled in the thick client with the wider team. So when you're discussing, have you actually mapped the requirements correctly? The team can use this. If I, so I can scroll in, I can zoom in. They can use this to actually review the requirements that you've modeled. And it's a discussion point. They can then tell you where you, there may be issues and you may need to change the model. Now also I can switch this view to look at the dependencies. So I mentioned there were three subflows and here we can say subflow. So we know that if we make a change to this subflow, it will affect the metric one. So it's a very simple way of also tracking how these, these models of your requirements are interlinked with other requirements. Now if we go back to our Agile Central system, so what we showed you before was the, the creation of the test case. Uh, we talked about how we could automatically generate that test data either on demand at test case creation or when we run the test case. But obviously, quite often, there are manual test cases and what you need to do is actually generate test data as a manual tester. So how can we do that? So let me go and look at a test case in Agile Central. We're going to go to this test case here. And we just uh, make it full screen like so. Now here's our test case. Now we need test data. Now there's already some test data here. So I want to rerun this test so I need some new test data now. At the bottom of the screen what we can see is um, we can actually request data and set new criteria. So let's go off and do that. We're going to click on the set criteria button. Now what we're doing here is we're actually going off to our test data management system. We're going to log in and then enter the um, the data that we actually need. So this brings up our self-service catalog. Now we have one offering, which is one here. Obviously there could be many offerings on this screen. We're going to click on that particular offering. And then we're going to put in, you know, do we want to update the test case criteria? And the answer is yes. We want to change what we're looking for. It then prompts you for, okay, so what's the condition? So what we're looking at here is um, a form. So these forms can be generated um, with very simple or very complex. This one example is very simple. We're saying we need some data when, for this patient details, we need it where registered patients and we need five. And this is the pool we need to put it in. And we say next. And then asked, do you want to reserve the data now? And we say yes. Now, you get prompted for things like, if you've got previous matches, do you want to clear those down? Do you want to allow partial matches? We're going to say yes to all of this and just say next. And the final thing is, no, do you want to put a new email address? Um, and this will then send you an email once the data has been requested. And we click request. Now, you might have noticed we could also schedule that as well. So we did it straight away. Uh, we could have scheduled this to run later in the day. Now, if I go back to my Agile Central system, you may have noticed in the bottom corner uh, we had an update from Agile Central. And I just refresh this screen. So this one you can see here, it's uh, 6th of March, uh, 524. If I just hit refresh. So there's our, our updated record. So automatically that data from our TDM system has been attached to the test case in Agile Central. I can then look at this CSV. Let me just open the CSV here. And what you'll see is here's my test data. Here's my five records I just requested. Now this test data has, in this case, our patient records. 
So it's got the names, the social security numbers, etc. And we're going to use this data later um, during the, the release pipeline testing. So with that, uh, join me in the next video where we'll actually do the release pipeline deployment. Thank you.